I would have been such a, a fool to have, have said no. And actually, Jim and I, we have sort of talked over the years about trying to um, come up with something to to do together, find an opportunity to work together again. And uh, and I obviously, lo I mean, really loved the first film. I was one of those people who it, it really got me. I really understood. I really understood all the the subtle and not so th subtle themes that ran through it, um, and I found it very powerful and extremely emotional. Um, and so I was just thrilled when he said, "Look, we've got to get you big and blue." The underwater performance capture. Um, it's it's a it's a first of all, it's a huge amount to think about. So there's not just the physical challenge of holding your breath. There's then the added challenge of acting out a scene underwater where everything is very different. You're having to imagine coral reefs, you're having to picture, you know, other Natvi Metkayina swimming around you. Um, and often acting with a child who is in actual fact a safety diver who's 35 years old and not a nine-year-old girl. Um, so there's, there's that sort of added element too. Then you have the challenge of your movements are very, very different underwater. So rather than sort of sculling all the time or desperately trying to kick your legs to sort of stay in one place, finding that serenity and that calm, that's another thing. So there's all of that to take care of first. Then you have a wetsuit with motion capture bobbles all over you. Then you have a helmet and an arm with a GoPro sat in the front of it. What I love though about about Jim deciding to put the actors in the water um, is that Jim does have, and I don't know any other person in my life like this, Jim does seem to have a sort of an inherent belief that humans can be capable of almost superhuman things sometimes, as he is, I mean we've all seen it. Um, but he also believes that everyone can push themselves just that little bit further than they ever believed that they were prepared to. And I love seeing him encourage people to go that extra mile and try that, try that new experience that they were afraid of or daunted by. Um, and luckily for me, I wasn't daunted by any of it. But uh, but if it weren't for Jim saying, you know, you could you could do all this water stuff if you want to. I mean, we could always get the stunt people to do it. I'm like, do you know me? <laughs> Of course I'm going in the water. Um, so it really has been just, it's just been fantastic, sort of mind-blowing really. And it is remarkable how much is being picked up in terms of your physical movements um, and how, I mean, we walk in a particular way, you know, the Nutvi don't, they don't walk just like a regular human being. There's a there's a sort of a composure to it um, and a real strength and a groundedness. They walk in a very fluid way with their legs. They almost lead with their hips. The shoulders are very upright. It's different, you know, not kind of like a slouchy human who probably doesn't think about how they're holding themselves when they walk, walk down the street. And the tiniest adju adjustments to that Navi gait, um, it's really, it, you, can, you see it immediately, the difference from one take to the next. I'd watch and I'd go, oh, oh I'm God, I'm, I'm, I've got to do my walk. And then you correct it and it makes the most enormous difference to the character. Um, so learning to appreciate the subtleties of movement um, has, been, has been really great, actually. Yeah, really interesting.